your new wiring harness is going to have a plug to go into the stock engine harness one plug to go into the existing horn and then a long lead that's going to take you over to the other side to plug into your new horn you can run it in front you can run it behind whichever you do just make sure it's wire tied and secure so it doesn't fall into a place it's not supposed to and get damaged so when you receive your new low tone horn you're going to want to loosen this nut a little bit to adjust the bracket so the horn faces down when you put it in its slot to make the job a little easier uh, i would recommend plugging the harness into the new horn first before bolting it in place because it is a little tight at the bottom if you bolt this in first and try to plug it in later you might actually uh, not have enough room Over on this side, we're going to unplug the vehicle harness from the stock horn. We're going to plug the Y harness in. And plug that into the factory horn. And now you're good to go.